Welcome to Math 20 video lecture series. At the end of this video, a student will be able to measure angles and arc lengths. So let us begin by defining what an angle is. So an angle is a figure formed by two rays, and we call that two rays the sides which share a common endpoint, and that endpoint is the vertex. So ang itsura ng isang angle ay ganito. something like that. And yung isa dyan, gumagalaw. Yung isa, hindi or fixed. So, let's say, ito yung fixed side natin. Yung fixed side, ang tawag natin doon ay oops. This is what we call the initial side. And isang side is the terminal side. Tapos, para malaman natin kung sino yung initial terminal side, nilagyan natin siya ng uh, parang arc na arrow. Okay? Yung head ng arrow, naka-point sa terminal side. Yung end niya, naka-point sa initial sides. Okay? And yung angles natin, pwedeng lumampas ng 360 degrees. So, paano natin i-drawing iyon? So, let's say this is the initial side. So, iikot tayo, no? From here, more than 360 degrees. Pwedeng ganyan. So, you stop here and... So, itong angle na ito, nakailang ikot siya. One, two, more than two revolutions. Okay? So, ganyan natin, i-drawing ang mga angles natin. So, now, ano naman ang ibig sabihin natin sa angle in standard position? So, we have our definition here of an angle in standard position. So, an angle in standard position is of course an angle, pero nasa Cartesian plane siya. And yung vertex niya coincides with the origin. So, let us draw. So, let's say it's our y-axis, x-axis. So, yung vertex niya raw andyan. And one of the rays is on the positive side of the x positive side of the x-axis. Yung nasa positive side ng x-axis, yun yung tinatawag nating initial side in this case. And, isang ray ay yung terminal side. Okay? And, ang convention natin dyan is kapag counterclockwise yung ikot ng angle, positive yung angle. Kapag Clockwise naman ang ikot ng angle. Oops. Let's say, started from here. So, in this case, kung clockwise naman siya, negative yung angle. So, again, counterclockwise, positive. Clockwise, negative. And, itong mga angles na to, may measure iyan. And, what do we mean by measure ng isang angle? Pag sinabing measure ng isang angle, so, roughly, yun yung amount of rotation lang ng angle. Okay, kung gaano siya kabuka. And the rotation is positive pag counterclockwise, negative kapag clockwise. And we have learned in the past na ang measure ng isang angle may unit na degrees. So ngayon, aarali natin or magbibigay tayo ng another unit ng angle which is the radian measure. So, an arc length theta units along a unit circle subtend sa central angle of theta regions. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? So, babalikan natin yung unit circle natin. 
So, ang radius ng unit circle is 1. So, let's say we have the central angle. Hmm? Let's say this is our central angle. This is our central angle. So, paano natin malalaman ang sukat nito kung theta radians? Okay, so unit circle yan. So, 1. Okay? Just to emphasize the unit circle. So, paano tayo magbe-measure ng theta regions dito? So, para makapag-measure ka ng theta regions dito, kailangan mag-measure ka ng theta units na arc length here. Okay, nag-gets ba? So, Kung gusto mo isang buo ng circle, let's say ito, gano'ng kahaba yun? This is 2 pi units kasi unit circle, ang radius ay 1. So, yung 2 pi units, this 2 pi units will correspond to 2 pi radians. So, yung 2 pi radians, isang ikot daw yun. So, ang isang ikot is 360 degrees. So, 2 pi radians is equivalent to 360 degrees. Or, if we divide both sides of this equation by 2, we get pi radians equal to 180 degrees. Okay? So, Anong pa bang mga sasabihin ko? <laughs> so, ang sasabihin ko pala, kapag wala yung unit na radians, pag inalis natin yan, automatic na radians yun. So, pag sinabi natin, o, anong measure na angle? 5. Ibig sabihin nun, 5 radians. Paano natin malalaman na degrees may bilog na nakalagay dito? Okay? So, this is, this is in radians. This is in degrees. Regions, degrees. Okay. How about this? So, this is in degrees kasi may below. Okay. Okay, so let us use our conversion formula. So, ito yung conversion formula natin, ha. So, if we divide both sides by 180 degrees you get 1 or if we divide both sides by pi or pi regions we get 1 equal to 180 degrees over pi so yan yung gagamitin natin for the conversion ng unit ng angles natin so let us do one example or two examples let's say convert this to, reg to regions let's say 3 fourths of a revolution Okay, so 1 revolution is equal to 360 degrees or pwede mo rin isipin na 2 pi regions or 2 pi. Okay, so i-direct na natin siyang gawing regions kasi gusto niya regions daw, no? So this rev replaced by 2 pi. So we get ito, cancel, cancel, 2. So, 3 pi over 2. So, 3 fourths revolution is 3 over 2 of a region. Okay, next example. Let us convert to regions. This negative 210 degrees. Okay, so ang gagawin natin, we will multiply it by 1. Anong 1? Isa dito. So, kailangan makancel yung unit na degree. So, i-multiply natin siya by by this one. Yung nasa ilalim yung degrees. Yan. Para magcancel yung degree natin. Okay. So, what do we get? Cancel yung 0, 0, 21 over 18 
that is ang common factor 3 so 7 over 6 or 7, negative 7 pi over 6 siya in radians. Okay, so one last example for yung sa conversion. Let's say, meron tayong 3 pi over 4. So, we will convert it to degrees. So, automatic yan ay naka radians kasi walang unit. At walang bilog. Ito, walang degree sign. Okay? So, we multiply it by 180 over pi naman para magkaroon siya ng degrees. Over pi. So, cancel na yung pi. So, you get 3 times 180 degrees over 4. And 180 degrees over 4 is 45 degrees. So, ang makukuha natin dito ay 135 degrees. So, 3 pi over 4 is 135 degrees. Okay. So, punta naman tayo sa next topic natin. Tapos na tayo sa pag-measure ng angle. Ngayon naman, pag-measure ng arc length naman. Oops. Okay, so let's say, meron tayong circle. We have this circle. And, any circle ito ha, kahit anong radius na yung pinag-uusapan in this case. So, let's say, the radius is R, and then you have a central angle theta, where theta is in radians. In take note, naka radians dapat. Okay, so ang question, how do we find the measure of this arc length subtended by the central angle theta? So, itago natin yung sa pangalang R. Actually, yung formula ay, S is equal to the radius times yung angle lang, as long as your angle is in radians. Okay, so let us do an example. Okay, gawa na lang tayo. So, if an arc of length 2 pi inches is intercepted by central angle measuring 40 degrees find the radius of the circle so imagine natin ha so this is our circle okay and hindi natin alam yung radius but we know that the length of this part is 2 pi inches and the central angle theta is 40 degrees. So, to compute for R, gagamitin natin yung formula na S is equal to R theta. Pero dapat theta in regions. So, convert muna natin si 40 degrees to regions. So, theta 40 degrees you multiply by 180 degrees is pi. Para ma-cancel yung degree dito. So, ano na ito? So, 4 pi over 18. 2 pi over 9. So, that is 2 pi over 9 radians. Now, ipa-plug in na natin yung mga meron tayo dito sa equation. So, our S here is 2 pi. And the radius, yun yung hinahanap natin. And theta is 2 pi over 9. Kailangan naka-radians. 
Okay, let us compute for R. So, multiply both sides by 9. So, we get R times 2 pi. Then, divide both sides by 2 pi. Cancel, 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 cancel. So, our radius is 9. So, anong unit? So, 9 inches. Kasi yung binigay na unit is inches. So, dapat inches ito. Okay. So, that ends our lecture on angle and their measures. Bye!